Hi everyone, happy Sunday. So um, yesterday I went live and we talked about the Misty 2.0. Lots of you uh, decided to make the upgrade. I'm so really excited. I'll let you know as soon as they're in stock. Um, but if you have anything else in your order, they will ship immediately on Monday. In fact, I even started doing some shipping this morning. So you might have had a notification. Um, so today I hopped on because we talked yesterday about the mink versus the laminator for foiling. And I promised you guys I would go live to let you know, hey, Lisa, um, which was best. Now, I haven't ever done a direct comparison. I can just tell you that I always reach for the Amazon laminator um, versus the mink. I'm going to make sure my mink is preheating. Now, I found my mink mini after I had just been and bought the new mink over at Joanne's. But I plugged the new big pink mink in this morning and it won't even turn on. So that was not the best start we've ever had. Um, hey everyone, welcome and welcome. Uh, so yeah, so today I want to talk to you about that. I also had a couple of ideas about some stump stuff. So I want to have a look at those. I think we could experiment together. Um, my new Kitsch Flamingo kit from Ranger arrived yesterday. So that was perfect timing. Um, I'm absolutely boiling hearts because uh, I had a really cute little Hello Kitty t-shirt on underneath this. And Greg told me I wasn't allowed to wear white. So he made me put a hoodie on and now I am boiling. I do have my lovely little honey jukes headband on though, but this is my Sunday look. There is no makeup, there's no pretty clothes. This is how I look on a Sunday when I'm making samples and crafting. So, but I wanted to drop, drop in, say hi, and do that comparison for you. So welcome everyone for joining us. Um, hope you have a lovely Sunday. So here I have my two machines. I'm gonna just make some room. Now, of course, it doesn't help that I'm working with something super hot. Well, I'm also hot. I did put the air on, but it's turned off again. So let me do a top down view so you can see. So here I have, this is my Amazon Basics Laminator. This is the one you see me use all the time. And I do find it works great. I put it on the five mil setting. It has a three and a five mil setting. And that's what I go and put it on. Um, I'm just also going to, as you all know, in this house, we text within the house. Uh, I'm gonna text Greg to... Oh, no. I'm gonna get him to come and fix the camera so you can see the laminators better on the top down. But anyway, this is my Amazon Basics laminator. It has the three and the five mil setting. And I really like um, the five mil for doing my foiling. Then we have the Mink Mini. This is the Mink Mini. There's also a big mink, um, but you can see, so you have different settings on here. I've never really worked out what the different settings do. I usually set it on a three to four. It's red and you start, and then when it heats up, it goes green. Yeah, no one can see anything, Greg. Right, what's up? Um, look, it just like blows out instantly on the top down. So we need Greg to fix it. It blows out instantly on the top down. You just can't, oh my goodness. Well, it's fine on there. Look, it's not fine. You can see it on the computer screen. That worse? I don't know. Sorry, everyone. Greg's messing. Yeah, we'll get there. Don't worry. Yeah. All right. So Greg's going to work on that for a second. So um, in the meantime, I'm going to catch up on people's comments. Uh, this is real world crafting. Yep, it really is. Um, Elizabeth says, yes, I've been wondering if I should get a mink. I love my minks. Um, How's that? Cats. That's better. We can see the edge of the laminator now. Better or perfect? It's better. No, um, just leave it. It's fine. It's perfect, dear. It's perfect. Just. No. Okay. So, Kat says she got the Anna Griffin mink several years ago. Can you um, switch back to the top down so I can walk past? Because otherwise, I walk in front of the camera. Just walk in front of the camera. <laughs> okay. What are you going to. Go back to front on now. What is your go to cut and emboss machine that you like to use? Um, Celia, do you mean like a die cutting machine or do you mean like an e cut? You can let me know, I'll let you know during the live. So, yes, yeah, so these are the two machines I have here, and the other machines are available. I know Thermaware recommend the Royal Lang Langlin. Langlin. Um, I've had hit and miss, I've had good ones, I've had bad ones, but these two have always been pretty reliable. So, I'm going to test with exactly the same things. We're going to prep our pieces first. Um, here we go. So, I have a piece of parchment paper. And these are our new parchment pre-cuts that are coming out. If you are getting a hollow days box, you'll get some of those. Um, and then I'm going to use some purple tape, the Thermaware purple tape that we have in the store. And 
I'm going to just stick this down. And I like to add a little bit of tension um, when I'm doing this, but I wanted them both to be exactly the same. So I'm going to do this one. So I'm using our foilable papers. We have two. We have dots and patterns, and we have black to basics. And we have slimline, we have squares, we have flower power with all of those. So you can really kind of pick. And also you can use the all season sayings, those pre-printed sentiments. These are foilable as well. So you can foil these. And you could also use, um, what else can you use? Oh, the simple sayings we have. So those are also an option too. Um, Roberta says she loves her mink. Uh, Kat says, have I tried the Royal Sovereign? Um, I have, as I say, I've had hit and miss personally. It's not the one I would invest in. Um, zero is no heat, just pressure. Three and four are most used. Five is for thicker papers and tougher foils that don't like to. Oh, thanks, Elizabeth. I had never looked that up. So thank you for letting me know. Um, so I'm just letting you know. So I've got a little bit of tension on my foil under here. Just taped it on. And then you put your what you want to foil against the dull silver side of the foil. Your pretty side should never have anything stuck to it. Otherwise, it will not transfer. Then I pop it in here. And I like to make a little bit of a fold like this. And then we're going to put them both, both through. So I'm going to move them both back in so you can see them. There's our mink. And here's our Amazon. Here we go. So I'm going to put them in, and I like to put foil side to the top. Hopefully I cut this one I didn't cut down quite enough to go in there. So the mink opening on the mini mink is pretty small. I'm even having to cut this down. On the Amazon laminator, it's eight and a half wide. I think on the mini mink, it's only maybe about six or just over six. Uh, the wide mink is obviously a lot wider. I think you can even fit a scrapbook page through the large mink. So I'm going to put them both in like this. Now, I did think about adding the minks to the store, but I had a look at the pricing. And it's way better for you guys to get it on Amazon or Joann's with a coupon, those kinds of things. Um, we only ever stock something if we feel like we can offer it competitively. And I just couldn't compete with you guys being able to use coupons. Um, so, whoops, this one didn't even go in the thing. I'm going to do this one again. All right. Never had that happen. Of course, it's going to happen when I'm live. There we go. So, catch up here. I saw Nancy said something. Nancy says, I've got all my info for another YouTuber. She got me hooked on foiling. Oh, Nancy Stats. I haven't seen Nancy Stats. So I have to take a look. I love foiling. I was actually having a conversation with Emma about this the other day. I just absolutely adore foiling. Um, Okay, so we have, our mink is already done. We had to redo our Amazon because it didn't go through properly. So I'm going to move, I'm going to turn both machines off for a second. And if you want me to show you something again, you can just let me know. They both have a switch on the back. Let's put them the, that way around because I remember how they were. So this is how the Amazon one comes out. And you can see you've got a nice impression. So... That's how the Amazon one came out really, really nice. So they covered it a little bit where there was an air bubble. But I would say overall, we got a really nice impression on there. So um, that's what you can do. And then this piece, you can take a piece of our blank canvas, just our plain black, put this on top, and then this will transfer. So you won't have any wastage. You can make gold with black in between, like you've got gold with white in between here. And then... This is the mink. This one looks like it's come out really bubbly. Look how bubbly that looks. Does that look really bubbly? Yeah, that super bubbly. I mean, it kind of looks cool, but it's not really the effect I was going for. So um, do you guys want me to try something else? Do you want me to do it again so you can have another look? Um, what does the foil stick to? So the foil sticks to toner. Um, let's try the mink again. Let's give it one more go. I'll show you how to use the extra. Let me grab out. Um, so these are our blank canvas sheets. So these are covered in um, a heat reactive toner. Like this. So I'm going to cut a piece off of here. 
So you get three of these in a pack. As I said, they're called a blank canvas. I can link up to them if anyone wants to take a look at them. They're here. I've had my mink on um, Roberta for a while. Um, so it was definitely blue, uh, green when I started and I've had it on for a little while before as well, just getting it to warm up. So what you can do is take your blank canvas and we'll use the mink for this, so we'll give it another go. And you take your blank canvas, take your leftover piece of foil, like this. As you can see, I've got it in. I'm gonna take some tape. It is laser toner. Um, some toners work better than others. So there are some brands of printer that it works really well with, and there are others. It just really depends on the melting point of the toner. Um, and different brands use different melting points within their machines. So we found kind of the optimal. We went to lots of print shops. We tested lots and lots of different foiling. I'm gonna wait for this to go green for a second. Um, Kat says, the mint gets bubbly for her sometimes too. Um, oh, Francine wondered how you let know when lives happen. If underneath the video, there should be a button that says uh, subscribe and then next to the, or if you're subscribed, it says subscribe. And then next to that, there should be a button with a bell. And if you hit that bell and make sure you, in your app, you have notifications turned on, then you'll get a little ping on your phone, or your iPad or device. Um, that lets you know. So it will even turn it up to four. So we'll talk amongst ourselves for a minute while this warms up to green. I think it beeps at you, which is kind of nice. The Amazon one just has a light change, but I do like something that beeps at me. Um, there we go. I don't know if you all heard that. So now it is green. I'm gonna put it inside. It does make a funny like cracking sound. So we're just using that leftover foil. This one looks a bit better. Ooh, hot. And we'll wait for it to come through. Okay, and then this of course is the best. But you see this one came out wrinkly too. I think it is something in the mink, I don't know. But apart from the couple of little ripples we're gonna have, it would, in theory, transfer all of that leftover toner on to your blank canvas. But of course it had the ripples in it. So that's really one reason why I like using the Amazon um, foiling machine is because, oh, I should simply say foiling machine because it's not, it's a laminator. But it, in general, it does a really, really good job. Um, I don't know if I ran this through the Amazon one if it would fix some of those or not. Let's see, you can try. I'm gonna give it just a little burnish with my finger and I'm gonna wait for my Amazon to reheat. I'm gonna turn my link off and put it to the side. Um, so we'll give that a second to heat up, but I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, mine makes that noise too, so I'm doing it to it. It's really bizarre. It seems like the small mink is too small. Okay, so I like the small make. It does up to six by six. You can do our four by eight papers, our six by six papers. I do have the large mink. As I say, I just bought one at Joanne's, a pink one, and I plugged it in to do this live. And I'm glad I tried it beforehand because it didn't work. It wouldn't even turn on. And yes, I did turn it on at the back and I did press the gold button and I tried holding the gold button and it still wouldn't come on. I tried all those things. Um, and then, so that was the mini mink. Uh, I usually let my mini my mink heat up for a bit longer. The foil gets better. I don't find the foiling. The transfer is great, but I don't like how it adds all these little bubbles, which I don't tend to have as much of an issue with in the Amazon. Um, Elizabeth says, "Where does the design come from?" So on, what's another sheet that's plain? So this is how the paper starts off. Yeah. So this was um, a slightly different chevron. We have dots on the back. We have, I'm grabbing some more to the side. We have ones that have flowers on. So what it is, the foil will stick to anything that is black. Here's some different ones that are available. Um, so the foil will stick to anything that's black. Same with our all season sayings. You could foil any of this that's black or any of this side that's black. They're all completely foilable. 
And then once you take your foil off and you've got a foil design like this, this is left on your uh, foil sheet. You can see there's some chevrons on there. And then all you can do is take some of our blank canvas, run this through your laminator again, and you end up with the reverse. I'm just gonna see if I can get any of these little pieces out. My uh, Amazon one just went green. Um, yeah. Um, I've also used the plastic. So when you buy a mink, it comes with um, these plastic transfer things. The only reason I stopped using them was you'll find if you use a double-sided printed toner sheet, like these are double-sided printed, so you have different options. Um, some of that toner can stick to your transfer, those plastic pieces, and they're really expensive to replace. So I like um, the parchment because you can just dispose of it when you're done. I don't know if I can get these ripples out, but we're going to try Yeah, a little bit, but I would still use that and I'd probably put a sentiment or a stamped image or something over that. So you can use both pieces and then you can see all of your design, apart from those ripples, has disappeared um, and you've used both pieces of the foil. So it's a really great way to not waste any foil by having those blank canvas pieces because you can transfer your opposite. Um, is the Amazon under a hundred? Oh yeah, it's way much, way way cheaper than that. Here, let me find you guys a link. The Amazon one is maybe thirty, forty dollars, maybe. Um, let me find it for you. Amazon basics. I'm finding it on here for you. So. It is twenty six sixty eight, so it's a really inexpensive one. I'm gonna, I'll drop a link in the chat for you. Um, do we sell the toner sheets? Yes, we do, Dini. We sell um, the ones that are coloured, so the black you know, the printed ones that you can foil. And then we sell sheets of what we call blank canvas. And you can get those all, the link that I put down there as well. Um, so I really like that as well. Um, yeah, so I don't like the wrinkles either, Kathy. That's why I really like the Amazon one you saw. So this was what we did Amazon and you can see there were no wrinkles or anything when we originally did it. It was only the mink one that had ripples both times. So I much prefer using the Amazon one. I find that I don't get so many wrinkles in there. Um, uh, Val's Artland says, what's the brand name of the laminator? It's the Amazon Basics Laminator. Uh, and would it be better to purchase a small laser printer? You can purchase a small laser printer, but I have a laser printer here in the office, which is like, it's not home use, it's not full commercial, it's kind of that in-between, like small business size. And it does not foil as well as the print shops we use who use a special toner. We did a lot of research into toner. We actually consulted with someone who was a chemist in toners to understand more about the foiling process and how all of that works. So yes, you can print with your home printer, but you're not gonna get the same foil transfer as you do with um, something commercially printed because we went through the same thing because otherwise um, I totally would have done that myself and we would print everything here in house, but we didn't. And eventually we'll get one of those commercial printers. We found out what the brand and everything is, but um, that's just my uh, thing. Toner foil for toner prints, avoid half Oh yes, there's two different types of foil. So the mink foil, the thermoweb foil that we sell in the store, um, it comes in a million beautiful, beautiful colors. Here, I'll link it up for you. Um, this is the link to the foils. I did put it in the description below as well if you're watching afterwards. Um, so they are toner reactive foils. So they will work with this technique. But if you have like the Gemini foil press, the Spellbinders hot foil glimmer plate, that's a different, it's a heat reactive foil, not a toner reactive. And it's done by heat and pressure. So that will not work for you. It will not transfer your foils. 
and the two foils are not interchangeable. You have to use one for one type of machine and one for the other. So the ThermoWeb and the Mink foils will work perfectly for this. Um, so that's on there too. Um, do the foiling papers come in different sizes? Yes, they do, Kathy. They come in four by eight and they come in six by six currently. And um, we also have some other fun things coming that you all think you'll really like as well. Um, so Elizabeth says you should watch Nancy said you don't need commercial you don't need a commercial okay so I'm going to clarify you can print at home on your laser printer if you print it on the highest quality it lays down more toner than if you print in draft so if you have we have an HP printer here in the office if I print that on the highest possible quality I can foil with it but I'm not going to get the same foiling effect as when I use these commercially printed ones. And it's due to, so Brother, for instance, they use a lower melting temperature toner versus Samsung and HP, and theirs will actually foil better. Also, my home printer cannot print in 110 pound cardstock, which is what I like to foil on. So there are pros and cons both ways. You can totally hack it at home and um, do some great foiling. So don't get me wrong, you can do that but there is a different toner using commercial production printers. And we spend a lot of money working with chemists and different print shops and things to find the most optimal printing and toner. So we went around, we found who printed, we got tons of sheets printed by different printers and we found the one that foiled the best. So yes, you can print at home, make sure you put it on the highest quality setting, but you can also, um, there is a reason that we decided to sell them in the store and that's because we did a lot of research into making sure you had the most or the best foiling experience to make it easy and repeatable and make beautiful cards out of it. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, okay. Sorry, I meant foiling the laser paper. I'm not quite sure what quite what you meant, Kathy. I kind of, I think I lost your, my train of thought on that one. Um, do the foils you work with also work with the duo gels? Yes, they do, Jeannie. You can use these ThermoWeb foils with the duo gel and the Blanco gel. So if anyone hasn't used those, we can definitely do a video on those in future. I have to do a bit of prep work because they have to dry. Um, but the duo gel is like a texture paste. You put it through your stencil, you allow it to dry, and then you can either put it through a laminator or through your die cutting machine, and it will transfer the foil for you. And the Blanco gel is the same, but you can only use it in a laminator, but it has a white behind it. So it actually makes your foils look slightly different, which is really, really cool. And both of those are available in the store at this link. So if you want to go check those out, you can. Um, so Lisa says, yes, I buy those ink cartridges are expensive. I'd rather buy the sheets um, you sell. Please do a video on the gels, okay. Hey Sally, my aunt's here too. Um, she was shopping on her chanda the other day as well, she was telling me, so um, so welcome. So yes, yeah, so you can absolutely do that. I will do some prep on the gels and we'll do that as a future live. I'll pre-make some, we'll do some here and then I'll be like, here's one I made earlier that's dry because it does take an hour or so to dry. So of course we don't really wanna sit and watch paint dry in a live. Um, so that was that. The size of the paper design you said you use was about four by four. Does it come in different sizes? I want a larger size to design a die cut. So we currently have six by six foilable papers. We have four by eight foilable papers to do slimline cards. The um, toner sheets come in eight and a half by 11, so you can really do anything with them. Um, you could maybe foil a whole sheet and then die cut out of foil too. Um, or die, actually I'd probably die cut and then foil. I think you'll get a better result. Um, I had my mink on a four, uh, three to four. Uh, so yeah, so that's currently what we have, Kathy. We're working on some other sizes, but certainly it's six by six or four by eight. And I think that covers most card makers um, and paper crafters. Okay. Yeah, the, the duo paste is great because you can use it with the die cutting machine and you can use it with the laminator. Now, I also wanted to digress slightly off foils today. Um, because I wanted to show, I had a couple of emails about our Happy Flowers stamp set. So if you haven't seen Happy Flowers, this is what it looks like. It's an Alex Siberia stamp set. And someone asked me for some different ways to use it. Now, if you, I don't know if you saw Colleen's post this morning. I think I have it on my phone. Um, let me see. Go. 
so clean. Did you guys see this? I oh, know it's only on my phone, which is not the best. Woohoo! Thank you for your order. Um, so I don't even have my sound on yet. See, that's how behind I am. Did anyone see this this morning? I thought she did an amazing job of these gorgeous flowers. But I wanted to also show you um, some other ways that you can use the Happy Flowers stamp set because I don't know how Alex designed it to be used, but I have a couple of fun ideas and I thought I would share them with you. So we're going to use, um, I'm going to use the biggest one. Now this still has some ink left on it, I think from when they sent me the sample. So let's clean that off. Um, it has been sitting on here a little while. We're going to make sure we have all of our tools. Okay. So I'm first of all, I'm going to spritz this with some Squid Buster. And then you're going to rub that in with my little buddy. I love all the names you've been naming your buddies. I love seeing, um, seeing the messages you send us and things. Um, look at this. Isn't this amazing? I think Greg did a really good job with this cleaner. So this is ink that's been on there since Happy Flowers was launched, which is quite a long time now. And it just comes straight off. I'm just going to wipe off my workspace too. And now we're ready to go. Um, oh, look, I got a little cracked egg to put my... Uh, What's it called? My little um, Totally Awesome Cloth in. Isn't that cute? I got them at um, Joanne's in their Easter department. I just thought it was really sweet. Anyway, so I'm going to, here's my new Mini Misty 2.0. It arrived yesterday, mine did. I'd actually ordered one before I even decided to add them to the store. I totally forgot about that, but anyway. So I'm going to use that sticky grid piece that we put in yesterday. And I'm going to put this in. Pick this up. And I'm going to use that new Kitsch Flamingo, the new Tim Holtz color that arrived. I hadn't even used it yet. It's the first time. And um, I'm also going to be using Salty Ocean. And um, Hey, Lola, welcome. Oh, I also still have some goodie bags to give away. So let's pick out a winner. Um, Lisa, would you help me pick out a winner? Because I'm, I'm all inky now. Um, uh, I'm going to grab out my Mr. Perfect here. So this one is filled with water. So the empty ones we have here, I, you have a little space on the bottom to grab your, to write on whatever you want. So I'm just going to give it a few spritzes. And I'm gonna give it a really good push because we don't have our special tools yet. Give it a second to soak in and then you can pick it up. And look how cool that comes out. So that is one way you can use the Happy Flowers stamp set um, to be able to do that. Do we sell the extra spray bottles? We do, cats. You can see they're called Mr. Perfect, M-I-S-T-E-R-P-E-R-F-E-C-T. So you can get these on the website now. You can buy a pack of three or you can get them individually. And then they have a space down the bottom. So you can write, I have this one. And then I have my alcohol one. So you can write them on there. Um, let me see what else. Uh, looks like you layered the ink on the stamp. Does that not contaminate your ink pads? It does not, Francine. So um, when you use, so, I'm just going to use what Tim told me. He told me, ink is a suspended medium. As long as you don't mix dye with oxide or dye with pigment, it doesn't do your ink pads any harm to touch them backwards and forwards. Now, you'll see there's a little bit of this on my ink, my stamp pad, but when you start stamping out, you just do a little smush and all of that comes out. You see how it's now just pink. 
So you don't actually have to worry about it contaminating your ink pad. Um, so really, really easy as well. This here, Roberta, is our 110 pound uh, ultra white cardstock and you can um, get that on the website. It comes in A2, slimline, eight and a half by 11, kind of any color you want. You can also, if you're not happy with how it came out, you can go back in, you can, there's a lot of hair I picked up from somewhere, spritz, and you can have another go at it. So you can have another go like this. Um, Cats loves the watercolor effect. It's so easy. We have shapes. You can do this with the flowers. Um, your winner is Elizabeth Walker. Just scrolled up and down. Thanks, Lisa. So Elizabeth, email uh, Bethany. So you can either email Bethany at Makerforte or ecom, E-C-O-M-M, -M, at makerforte.com, and she will arrange to get you a pack of prizes sent out. I have lots of fun things to give away downstairs as well. Um, Kathy asks, which do I like better, distress inks or distress oxide? Oh, that's like asking me to pick a favorite child. That's a really tough question. I think, I guess it depends what you do. If I was, if I could only have one in my craft room, I would go with distress inks. But I do have both and I love both and I love using them for different things. But I think they're a really different mediums. Um, so that, yeah, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I don't know. I'm not sure I can answer that. Um, let's see. I have cats in my house. Hair is another gift that I give for my handmade cuts. I love it. Uh, which do I like better, uh, the laminator or the mink? I would pick the laminator. That's mine. Um, so I just want to show you another way you can use happy flowers. Um, you can actually do this two different ways. We'll see if we have time to do both. So way number one. is I'm gonna just ink up with my Kitsch Flamingo. And then I'm gonna grab Believe in Yourself. You can use any background you like. This one's just one of my favorites. I'm actually just gonna leave it on the acetate. And I'm gonna take this and I'm going to stamp it on top. And then I'm going to stamp out. So there's way number one. So you've got the pink in the background and then the blue on top, which I think is kind of cool. And then this is what hoodies were made for. Let's grab out some more cardstock. Okay. We also want this one to be clean. Is, see, some people love the mink, some people love the laminator. As I always say with craft tools, it's such a personal choice. I will tell you what I like, and then you guys can decide what you like as well. Um, what kind of laminator do I own? I own the Amazon Basics laminator. Really simple, really easy one, um, but I really like uh, how well it works and how reliable it is. And I had one in England, and then I had the second one. What were the flower stamps you used on the DL cards earlier? They were gorgeous, the DL cards. I don't know which, the DL. I don't know. Aunt Sally, what do you mean? So this time, I'm gonna ink it up. I'm gonna take my, where's my Mr. Perfect filled with water gun? Every time I say my Mr. Perfect, Greg goes, I'm here. Oh no, I'm Dr. Perfect. Um, I have both a laminator, Amazon Basics. Yeah. Hey Carmen. So I'm giving this a light spritz with water this time. I haven't done this one in a while, so I really hope it works. I should have practiced before I went live, but you know. So I just spritzed it with water, pressed it on my stamp, and then now when I stamp out, you kind of get some of those textures in there. Do you see that? There you go. I think the camera kind of just picks that up. 
So there is another way that you can use that. DL cards are the double length. The, the long cards I watched you this morning. Oh, shoot. I don't know, Sally. I'll text you afterwards or text me. If it was the, um, I wonder if it was the samples I showed yesterday. Um, I'll text you afterwards. That's the beauty of having your aunt on WhatsApp. She can text you what she needs. Um, so, yeah, so there's another way you can use happy flowers. So you can use it solid the way um, Colleen did in her post today. You can go check that out over on her Irish Rose Creations. Um, you can do the watercolor technique. You can do color and then add a second color. Or you can take water and lift out some of that color on a solid and put some textures and fun things on there too. So, um, so that's that. Uh, where else are we? I think I prefer the laminator of the ink because I don't like all the air bubbles. Yeah, I would totally agree with that, Linda. Uh, lots of you loving the technique and the texture. Kat's saying, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Yes, please do. It really does help us. Um, it makes such a difference. Kathy says she loves the Harry Potter design on the front of my laptop. Thank you. Uh, I adore Harry Potter. Um, Harry Potter and Hello Kitty are kind of my two weaknesses and my uh, room downstairs has a little bit of both. I have a Hello Kitty pencil holder and then I'm currently in the process of saving um, Pottery Barn have a Forks floor lamp, Forks the Phoenix, and I adore it. And it would be perfect in the corner in my room. I know exactly where I want it, so that's next. And um, I got this one on Amazon if you're looking for it. Before I have, on my big laptop, I used to have one of the Hogwarts and then now I have the Marauders map on there. So I always have fun ones like that too. And yes, my Hello Kitty sweatshirt. I actually have a Hello Kitty t-shirt underneath, but it's white. And Greg told me I wasn't allowed to wear that in live because it didn't look very good. And my headband is Honey Dukes. So it's a little Honey Dukes fabric on the top there. Um, I have to get that set now. I never think of stamping a texture on top of a solid. Yeah, it's a really fun way to stretch your stamps because I love how Colleen did them on her slim lines. Um, she did a really, really pretty um, job just doing them as solids and she used the Catherine Pooler new date night uh, inks, which I really loved. I love that idea. But um, you can also do the watercolor, you can stamp into them. Um, so I used Happy Flowers, which is all of the solid flowers. And then I used New Beginnings as my background texture. Um, I also think, um, I can't think what it's called. Oh, sorry, I use Believe in Yourself. New Beginnings is the one I was thinking of. The, that's the marble um, stamp. I think that that would do a really, really great job as well. So um, yeah, lots of different ways to use them. So there are, that's my tutorials of the day. I really, really have to get crafting because I have extra samples to make for Lift Your Spirits Tomorrow. Woo! Um, someone investing in some fun and crafty goodies I'll be shipping out tonight. Um, so yeah, we have Lift Your Spirits Tomorrow. I think there's still like maybe eight or nine tickets left um, that's available. Um, do stencils work? Absolutely, Melissa. You could stencil onto there with some really fun techniques and then stamp them out the same way. So you can definitely do that. Um, in fact, we might well be doing that in, I don't know if that's tomorrow's Lift Your Spirits. I can't remember. I'm, my head's all a blur as to what class is. Um, so yes, yeah, so you can do all of those things too. Um, Anna says, is there a way to get the bubbles out? I haven't found one yet. I will definitely keep working on it. Um, my plan is to have a little bit of crafty time up here this week. So I will definitely work on some more tips. And I will check out those YouTube channels you all recommended as well. Um, Nicola asked when we're next on her Chanda. I don't know. Um, I don't know is the answer, but I will find out. Um, and Kat says, is Sally in the slim line, not the doll? Yeah, I think she means the slim line, but I'll text her pictures and then she can let me know um, the uh, thing on there too. So um, where was I? So yes, so we have Slift Your Spirits tomorrow. That's our free class. You can still register for the last kind of few tickets that are on there. And then um, we have the in-person show in Clearwater next weekend. So the girls are going to stay with grandma so that they can quarantine away from us for a few days. Um, but it's something we committed to a long time ago, so we are going to see through with that. But you can go on the website and order and select pick up in Clearwater. So if there's something that you really want and you're local to Clearwater and you want to pay the shipping, you can select the option to pick up there. 
Um, so that's an option. And there was something else. Oh, if you order $75 or more this weekend in one transaction, we will include a free Shades of Power stamp set. Now, lots of you took advantage of that yesterday. But there were still a few when I, were pack when I was packing orders this morning. Um, so make sure you get in there. You don't have to do anything. I will just add it to your order as I'm packaging it if it's over $75. Um, so there's that. Um, let me see. Do we need to repair for Lift Your Spirits? I have registered. Um, right now, it's kind of more by fly by the seat of our pants. Um, we know what stamp set we're going to use. I have a couple of the cards designed. There's a few I want to finish because we had a bright idea for a new product that will be launching at Lift Your Spirit. So I want to make sure we're using that in one of the cards. Um, but as long as you have um, the lift, the spring gnomes would be perfect. Some alcohol markers or some coloring pencils, anything you like to stamp co uh, color with. Um, the remarkable ink would be useful. A couple of colored inks and some of your favorite stencils. So that should be, you know, and a cardstock and things. But they should really kind of, um, yes. Um, hey, Tammy, welcome. So um, what is Lift Your Spirit? Shows it? It's our free class. It happens once a month on the second Monday of every month, 7 p.m. Eastern. If you sign up for the free ticket, you also uh, get lifetime access to the class. Um, I'm going to copy. I'm going to paste a link. Um, oh, Anna, we will lift your spirits tomorrow. Don't you worry. Make sure you are signed up. Um, so yes, so Joanne, Shirley, everyone, I've just put a link there for Lift Your Spirits. You go in, you can register, and then tomorrow you will get a secret link in your email. So make sure you check your emails. Uh, we usually try to send it out around noon, but sometime in the afternoon it has that. And we'll be letting you know what we're drinking and um, any supplies you might want to kind of grab. So go check those things out. We'll also have six new and exclusive products to release to you. And you'll get to see what next month's Lift Your Spirit stamp set, which is another pre-order. Um, it's one of my favorite stamp sets. I'm really excited to share it all with you. So um, my arms are getting better. Thank you, Lana. I feel very bruised today. I'm on ibuprofen and some Tylenol, um, but I'm okay. So thank you, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. I'm off to craft. Um, don't forget to tag us and share the things you've been uh, working on. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. I'm gonna pick one more winner before we go to. Uh, Kathy Cole. So Kathy, um, contact Bethany at makerforte.com and you can um, claim a prize. And also a couple of the orders I'll be pack, I have to craft now. I'll be packing orders around about four o'clock. So anyone who orders between now and four, you might find I add some little bonuses to your package um, because I have lots of bits and pieces that Hachanda sent back. They're brand new, um, but they open them and photograph them and stuff. So the packaging might not be perfect, but they are all woo brand new. Someone else going to lift your spirits. So have a fab Sunday. I'm off to craft. I'm going to watch some TV and I will see you tomorrow night at 7 p.m. if you have joined us for Lift Your Spirits. See you then. Bye.